Hi, this video is to show how I got the data for my table that shows the uh, average provincial unemployment rate when the NDP was in power is lower than for the other parties. As far as I know, there's no way to actually link exactly to the data uh, as I used it. So I'll show you how to get it yourself. Um, first of all, we start by Googling the table name, which you see I've practiced there. Um, then you, I'm going to expand this first. Um, then you add or remove data, unclick here, click here to get the provinces, um, unclick all, and then get unemployment rate. Keep that the same, keep that the same, keep that the same. And here, the earliest year there is, is 1976. I've seen other analyses of the same data that go from 1981 to like 2012, but I'm going to use all of it, just so I'm not accused of being selective. And January. This year is uh, incomplete, obviously, so we have to go back to December last year and I'll have time as rows this so it fits in with the um, the um, ca uh, timeline of Canadian elections page which also has time as rows apply and but still there's one more step we need to do because uh, instead of being yearly data like the timeline of elections is, it's monthly. So I have to manipulate this, make it an annual average, calendar year, data is retrieved, is good, apply. So here you see how the data is. Um, notice that the orders from Newfoundland to British Columbia um, the time of the Canadian elections has it the opposite way from BC to Newfoundland. So keep that in mind when you're looking over um, how I uh, retain the data. So um, well, just to go back here, uh, I didn't copy and paste or anything. This stuff, I downloaded it as... Again, time as rows, comma, separate value spreadsheet. And uh, this I took into the, uh, to my spreadsheet program, which well, ultimately turned out to be Google uh, Sheet, which I'll show you here. So here to start with, I have what I downloaded from Stats Canada. You can see it's yearly. British Columbia on this side, Newfoundland on this other side. I did add some uh, calculations to this page, getting the average uh, unemployment rate per province uh, from B9 to B49, sorry, 47. So from here and here. And also calculated the Canadian overall unemployment rate from um, B9 to K47, which is here. So that means it took all the provinces to calculate this. Uh, then I copied this, uh, at least well, this data, uh, to sheets for each party. And I deleted uh, all the data f in the years that the parties were not in power using the timeline of Canadian elections. Now, there might be an error or two in these. You might want to check that out. 
uh, to make sure I didn't make an error. Uh, I double checked it, but there still might be an error or two left. Um, and here I got the average unemployment rate with a very simple formula. Uh, taking the average of all these this data from one corner to the other. Um, and I also calculated the confidence. This needed a few more variables. Uh, to start with, well, we hard coded a 95% uh, confidence interval. That's one minus this, uh, one, one minus uh, 0 0.95. Um, and it needs a standard deviation, which I have calculated here. And again, it takes all the data from one corner to the other. Um, then it needs the population size, which comes from here. And this is simply a count of all the places where there's data. Okay, now I did the same um, for conservatives and the liberals. And this data, these, these uh, well, these confidence and the average unemployment rate, I transferred over to here um, by bringing in the value from the NDP table and the cell. Same for these. Same with the confidence. Um, I created the table using the average unemployment rates. The confidences, um, to make the confidence bars, I had to manually put in. Uh, Google Sheets is advanced enough to be able to uh, put in the reference to the cells. Um, and uh, on top of that, I also made, did some t-tests. Uh, you can see the formula here. Uh, it takes all the data for the NDP and all the data for the liberals and it uses that to do a two-tailed test. Um, and uh, because the sample sizes were different, um, um, it did a um, type of uh, test that where the um, uh, it did not assume that the uh, variances were equal. It calculated the variances itself using all the data here. Uh, different variances uh, took into account the fact that uh, the NDP had maybe a third of the number of, of um, data points that some of these other ones did. So um, that's the same thing that happened with confidence intervals. <clears throat> they're, they're taking into account the different sample sizes. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much how it was done. Um, and uh, if you want to do a different type of analysis, I've done most of the work for you, um, getting the data called to the various parties was the hardest part uh, from a timeline of Canadian uh, elections. Um, but you have it now, you want, if you want to do a different analysis, you're free to do so. And if you have any uh, criticisms, um, you're welcome to, to make them. Um, by the way, I, I did do a kind of geographical analysis because there were some provinces where the NDP had never been in power and maybe that gave them an advantage. Even if you take out five of the worst unemployment uh, provinces um, um, and, you know, coincidentally, there's usually the ones where the NDP has never been in power. Uh, you still get uh, the NDP having a lower unemployment rate, even though the confidence intervals start to overlap at that point. But yeah, you could do uh, some other analysis yourself. Happy analysis. Thanks. Bye-bye.